I'm back home again. I'm back home for the day and the evening and the night to specifically wrap presents. I was actually going to be meeting Mr. Martin, if you remember Mr. Martin from a while ago, but he has bowed out. He is not well. I have got a very, very unhealthy selection of snacks. I have maple and bacon tortilla things. I got some reduced cauliflower, tempura cauliflower that I've just heated up in oven because I don't have an air fryer. And it comes with a dipping sauce, which I have put in this, in this glass mug. It's supposed to be like a yuzu dipping sauce or something. I don't know. So I'm just gonna eat that. I'm gonna wrap presents in my very messy flat. Totally smash them. I could say I could leave the sauce really. Not the best, but they, they were nice. I have bought myself Terry's chocolate orange. Does everybody know what a Terry's chocolate orange is? I wonder to myself. Do you have these abroad? I don't buy these ever. Do these only come out at Christmas? I think maybe they do. Anyway, uh, this is when you buy them. And you open it up. And you have a chocolate orange. It is just chocolate, it's not an orange, but it's orange flavoured chocolate. And then, you're supposed to tap them, aren't you? So I can never get them apart. Maybe, there, there. <laughs> we have orange chocolate segments, and I just, I just love them. Look. So, I shall be enjoying that. I came home to wrap presents. <laughs> and as yet, I have not wrapped one present, and it's ten to four. Cheers! <laughs> Why do I feel naughty? Ah, that's just Christmas. Christmas. done. Presents wrapped. A couple more to buy, but generally all done. <sighs> the realities, the realities, Christmas is not always a happy time of year. I think as you know, I struggle a little bit this time of year and I'm struggling. I'm very, 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 very stressed. I'm very emotional. I'm just out to pick up a tree. Um, I'm on the hunt for a cheap-ish real Christmas tree. So I'm not very with it today. I just feel really emotional and um, just feel poo. Do you want to hear about this? I don't know. Got to go to the doctors, got to drop some presents off, drop some cards off. My period has started, but it's just not doing anything. Like, literally one day I thought it'd come, and then the next day there's nothing, and then the next day there's a bit, and then the next day there's nothing, and I, I'm sure this muck through the hormones as well. My head's all foggy. I think one of the things that I find so difficult at Christmas is that everybody's so happy and up for it, aren't they? And all the families and the little children, which is something I won't experience. I think I feel very alone at Christmas time. And I think that's why I try to make it as fun as possible and as festive as possible because I struggle with it anyway but when your partner's not really into Christmas 
it makes me worse because I just think, well, what's the point then? What's the point at all? Anyway, let's go and get the tree. <laughs> Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. Your branches. That's the quickest tree I've ever bought. Okay, uh, I need to go drop off present um, pick up James's presents to go onto the tree to take back to his wash up go to the doctors get a coffee drive back to James's potentially go and get his clock that he's had fixed if there's time and put the tree up. Got me a coffee. Let's see what it's like. It's okay, thank God. I just went and filled the petrol up in a M&S garage, the BP, and got a coffee there. And they were having problems with the coffee machine, um, but they still gave me a flat white. And it was just—it was like drinking water. I had to give that one back. Uh, I've got my other neighbour's present to drop off and card. Bought some pesto chicken pasta for my lunch, and. I love these apple slices with um, this like really thick, gooey peanut butter sauce. Let's do this, man. Let's do this, man. Let's go. Brain fog, brain fog, brain fog, brain fog. <laughs> right, I'm still in the car. So I've driven all the way from mine to way past James's to collect his clock. He had, he's had this clock in for a pair for months. It's like an antique clock. So anyway, I've picked that up. And now I've come to a really nice little kind of garden center. It's more of a gift shop though than a garden center. Um, to have a look around, it is very expensive, but I'm hoping they might have some Christmas bargains. It's so pretty here and they have such nice stuff. I just thought as I was nearby, I'd come for a half a minute mooch it's five to four so we're doing quite well still got my my friend in the car need to get rid of that when we get to james's Well, it's in, and all this is in, and I'm pooped. Let me show you what I bought in the shoppy shop that we just went in. Um, I just treated myself. I don't do that much, really, apart from food. Um, I got some earrings. Uh, now, I can't wear earrings unless they're hypoallergenic or um, from Solace Jewelry, which is like, they do like surgical steel and stuff. Um, so this is a bit of a risk, but I did ask and they said that they were hypoallergenic. They're dupes. They're dupes for, is it uh, Van Cleef and Arples? Those uh, posh earrings that really rich people have. <laughs> Never get there. So I've got these ones. They're like uh, Mother of Pearl. Obviously they're not Mother of Pearl. 
and diamond, obviously not diamond, studs, which I thought would look rather nice. And then she brought these ones out and I thought, ooh, sparkly. <laughs> Got these ones. So I thought I might wear these ones on Christmas Day, hopefully, if they're not going to affect my ears. Are they me? I don't know. But you know when sometimes you think, I've got nothing to wear if I go out in an eve of an evening, which I never do. But if I did go out of an evening and went anywhere, even slightly swanky, I, I would have no earrings to wear. So, you know, maybe they're, maybe they'll be all right. I'm thinking they might be a bit big. And because they're big, they just look a bit... Yeah, I don't know, maybe I could get used to them. I don't know. They might be all right. <laughs> What do you think? These ones actually sit a lot better than I thought they would. Um, they're very blingy. They're not, they're not really me at all. As you know, probably. I don't do stuff like this. Oh, my hair just won't, my hair just won't stay up at the moment. Now I can concentrate on you. How are you all doing? I've often thought of you. Oh God! Have <laughs> thought of me in the meantime? I wonder. You can make it. You can make it. Short. Anyway, it's absolutely wonderful to be back on video. Oh, well, we're here Christmas. for a wonderful Christmas, rather pre-Christmas pre -Christmas dinner. Christmas. Yes, we're having two Christmas dinners. One because we're greedy. Pre-Christmas dinner and. Christmas dinner. Right. There are various That's reasons right. for that. Can't go into They've it. Too it. boring. But there we are. Many times We're going to have to um, force our way through it and uh, and and wait until Christmas Day for the big event. That's right. So that'll be That's absolutely right. wonderful. There's the mama. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> There's the mama. Been singing. Oh yes, she's been carol singing. There's him. Looking studious. Oh, it's a big boy. Big boy. Nine weighs nine pounds. Crikey. It's like a the baby. Small one. I know. It's a big baby. It's a big old bird. It is. We see you in a couple of hours. James is a little squiffy. Too much of the gin and the tonic. Unfortunately, I gave James dad's gin and tonic instead of his gin and tonic. So now he is <laughs> squifsters. Only a tiny bit. Mm. You can tell as I'm quite quiet. Good eyes. 
<laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> You're all right, girl. <laughs> Being papped. Happy pre Christmas Christmas. Ooh, num nums. Num nums. I'll put the rest in the oven, I think. Chef, turn round and buy your. <laughs> oh, look at that. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young church, a choral Christmas thing. James isn't clearing his throat, he just is moaning <coughs> about going. Come and say hello. James is looking forward to singing Christmas carols and getting in the crystal. No, I want to stay in front of the TV mood. and watch Sky. Little children are going to be singing away in a manger. Oh my god, That's I've, good. I've got tissues. They won't be there before of us. I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to cry. If the kids, if the kids are there singing, I'm going to cry. Anyway, Just off we go. In front of You got keys? Dad's got keys apparently. Good morning. Afternoon. Good afternoon everybody. Uh, I am we are back in, in Hampshire slash Surrey. A bit of both. Um, having visited my parents for pre-Christmas Christmas, which was lovely as usual. Um, I don't film as much as normal, but hopefully you got the gist. I am back at the posh garden centre slash shoppy shoppy slash cafe to try and return the earrings. I kind of realised when I got home that they just weren't me. Luckily, one of the pairs, it doesn't do up tight enough and I think it's just going to fall out. So I'm going to take those back and the other ones, the studs, I'll just keep um, and see if I can wear them occasionally. They're, you know, at least they're studs, um, so they'll, they're fairly non-standy outy. I can't get into the car park, it's absolutely chocker. I've gone a little bit further down the road and just parked up on the side of the road. Sneaky. And then I'm going to walk back down. It's like literally a two minute walk. Then I have got to go back to where I live via the jet wash because a bird or several birds pooed all over my car the other day and um, on Saturday in fact I uh, didn't have time to wash it off before we went to mum and dad's so the car is minging I've just literally um, mullered one of my alloy wheels on a curb so it's all going well today um, yeah and the lid of the coffee isn't on properly so I have to drink it like I'm a baby Apologies for the emotional <laughs> part of the vlog. I was really stressed. Loving our Christmas tree. It's beautiful. I love the shape. I just think it just looks lovely. Um, so that's making me happy. It was lovely to see my parents and we did presents and everything. So it saves us taking them all to my brothers on Christmas Day, which turns into carnage. I guess the moral of the story is Christmas isn't fun <laughs> the whole way through December. 
and sometimes it's not fun at all and sometimes Christmas Day is very stressful for people and sometimes people have to work Christmas Day. I'm very lucky I managed to get it off this year at the uh, last minute. Uh, but I should have been working Christmas Day. So yeah, I guess the moral of the story is everybody's really, everybody is struggling and nothing's ever as it seems and uh, we just need to try and enjoy the bits that we can enjoy and breathe through the bits that we can't and just take it slow take it easy be kind to yourself be kind to yourself be kind to others and if you need to remove yourself from the situation remove yourself from the situation for a bit but anyway let's go and try and return these earrings <sighs> okay managed to get one of the pairs of earrings refunded because it was slightly faulty. So now I've got to go wash car and then go home to the doctor. <sighs> Let's go. I just spent £12 on like a proper outside valet and it's got all the poo off and it looks much better. Oh, anyway, I'm at the doctor's. So I need to go in. Morning. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it. It's a leaf blower. One of the most annoying sounds on the planet. I hate them. It's a work day. I've got to get up and wait for the coffee man to come to fix James's machine. It's not early, quarter past eight. But I didn't sleep very well. I have to say, I am really in love with our tree. It's so beautiful. It's such a lovely shape. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. This is all ready for the uh, the man to come and fix it, or woman, but I think it's a man. Oh, hopefully he's not going to be too late and he's going to be quick. So I need to get ready for work. Uh, I've got the kettle on, I'm going to have a ready brick. I'm well into ready brick at the moment. So on this tree, it's not like my tree where I have lots of really meaningful things I've collected over the years because James has only been in this house for two years. It's all quite new stuff. But there's a couple of nice pieces like we've got a ceramic F that we bought um, when we went away and, and slept in the hut on the water. Oh, F is for freckles. And we've got the ceramic P which is for, for his surname, and I call him P-Head. We've got a lovely mince pie that I think my, my mum gave me. It's a felt mince pie. We've got, um, we've got candy canes all over. We've got a lovely ceramic robin. He's sitting down here. I think I bought that last year. We've got a very cool felt Wellington boot, which I love. We got this in a craft fair. Uh, a couple of years ago. This is a Covid spore Christmas decoration. Um, so sort of part of history but it kind of has to come out on the tree now. We've got the cat next door that we named Wolfie who's really aggressive. We saw this last year, this great cat hanging onto a wreath and we thought that was that was very good. So uh, that's ceramic and that's that's about it. Really, everything else is kind of just, you know, bought from a garden centre. Well, this was one we bought the other day, a cork Christmas tree, which is kind of nice. Hello, everybody. It is the 22nd of December. The big day is imminent. I'm nearly ready. I'm back in my flat because I am preparing it for my parents. They're staying the night on Christmas Day. So I'm cleaning, I'm tidying, 
changing bed sheets and all that sort of stuff, making it all nice and hotel like for them. Been to the doctor. Did I mention about my dizziness? I'm getting dizziness. Dizziness, vertigo, uh, headaches, brain fog, mm, headaches, sort of aching here, here down this side of my face, all that sort of jazz. I've now got antibiotics just in case it's sinusy and some anti-dizziness tablets. Apart from that, I feel fine. Like I don't feel nauseous. I don't, I haven't lost my appetite. I'm, I'm tired, like I'm fatigued, but um, yeah, that's that. Um, if you can hear children, it's next door. He's got his little kitty wrinkles with him. Hope you're all okay. I'm I'm hoping to get this up before Christmas. That would be ideal, but who knows? <laughs> that that's me. I think. Um, I really, really, really hope that you all have a, a lovely Christmas. I know it can be a bit of a, a weird time for people, so just try and go with the flow. And uh, and if it's already been, I hope you went with the flow. <laughs> I hope uh, I hope you got uh, some nice presents and just had a really nice time with friends and family. And if you didn't, and you stayed at home, and you're on your own, then I hope that you could make it special for yourself. Uh, thinking of you all, thank you very much for continuing to follow me. I appreciate it massively. And um, let's see what 2024 brings, shall we? <laughs> Sending love.